Hello friends, what's up? Welcome in the world of Maths by MEA. In this learning concept video, we try to learn remainder rule of 10 raised to power n plus minus 1 and its factors. And then we'll solve three questions which are in front of you. Now, I start with the concept. First concept is the formation of number. If we have 123, so we can say this is unit place, this is 10th place and this is the 100th place. What's the meaning of unit place is nothing but 3 into 10 raised to power 0 or we can write 3 into 1 because we are working in a base system and the base is 10. For the 10th place, this is 2 into 10. For the 100th place, we have 1 into 100. Now work on another number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Here we are making a bundle of 1, so we are working on 10. Here make a bundle of 2, 56, 2 digits from the right hand side, it's nothing but 56 into 100 raised to power 0. Why 100? Because we are working in a bundle of 2, 34. Next bundle is 34, bundle of 2 digit is nothing but 34 into 100 raised to power 1. First bundle and bundle of 1 is 10 raised to power 0. Second bundle, bundle of 1 is 10 raised to power 1. Third bundle, that is 10 square, is nothing but 100. Same here. First bundle, bundle of 2 is 100 raised to power 0. Bundle of 2 of the second bundle is 100 raised to power 1. And the third bundle, that is 12 into 100 square. Both are the same thing, but we are changing the base. Base is 10, base is 100. We can again make base of 1000 by making bundle of 3. I hope it is clear. So this is our first concept is formation of number. Now check what happens when the number divided by 10 raised to power n plus minus 1. Say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 divided by 9. What would be remainder? Can we say this is 5 into 10 raised to power 0. This is 4 into 10 raised to power 1. This is 3 into 10 square. This is 2 into 10 cube. And the last one is 1 into 10 raised to power 4. When this number is divided by 9, we just work on a base. First we divide base and then work. 10 raised to power 0 that is nothing but 1 divided by 9 remainder is 1. 10 raised to power 1 remainder is 1. 10 square divided by 9 gives remainder 1. 10 cube is 1000 again give remainder 1. 10 4 is 10,000 gives remainder 1 when divided by 9. So we can replace these bases by the remainder 1. So we will get 5 into 1, 4 into 1, 3 into 1, 2 into 1 and 1 into 1 and remainder is nothing but the addition of all. So when we are dividing by 9, what we are doing? We are making a bundle of 1 and then the addition. I am again repeating that is 10 raised to power 1 minus 1 is 9. When we have 1 less than 10 raised to power n, we make a bundles. Bundle of 1 because 9 is nothing but 10 raised to power 1. When we have 10 raised to power n minus 1 things, so we make bundle of n. I hope it is clear. So can we say what is the rule for the 99? 99 rule is nothing but we make bundle of 2 from the right hand side and each bundle is nothing but plus. The rule for triple 9 is the work on a bundle of 3 and plus sign. And the bundles works from the right hand side because maths works from the right hand side. Now check last concept. What happens when we divide 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 by 11? 11 is nothing but 10 raised to power 1 plus 1. When we have 10 raised to power n plus 1 sort of thing. We make bundle of n digits that is from the right hand side 10 raised to power 1 is a bundle of 1, bundle of 1, bundle of 1 digit, bundle of 1 digit and bundle of 1 digit. And sign is alternate plus minus plus minus plus minus because because 10 raised to power n divided by 11 depends upon value n and that is nothing but plus minus plus minus variation. So we learn two concepts. Now check which are those two concepts and its application. Concept number one when we have 10 raised to power n minus 1 as a divisor, we make bundle of n digit from the right hand side and all bundles are nothing but plus. Second concept is when we have 10 raised to power n plus 1 as our divisor, we make bundle of n digit from the right hand side and the alternate plus minus plus minus plus minus from the right hand side. I hope it is clear. Now check a sub concept. The most important concept of number system is if you have a rule for m, you have rule for its factor. 
see the rule of 9 is nothing but the summation of digits by the one bundle so the rule of 3 is same again the summation of digits because 3 is the factor of 9 so you need to know few things what is the rule for the 101 that is 101 is 10 square plus 1 so we make bundle of 2 from the right hand side and then plus minus plus minus what is the rule for the 99 that is 10 square minus 1 bundle of 2 from the right hand side then all bundles should be plus I hope it is clear so can we see we have the rule for the 99 so this we have same rule for the 33 because 33 is a factor I hope it is clear so the rule for 33 is make bundle of 2 from the right hand side and all bundles should be added if the summation is more than 33 then again divide the number by 33 because remainder is always smaller than the divisor can you see what is the rule for the 1001 and triple 9 that is 10 q plus 1 and 10 q minus 1 in this we make bundle of 3 in the both the cases but for the 1001 that is plus minus alternate bundle should be subtracted starting from the plus from the right hand side then minus plus minus we work on the bundles for the triple nine we make three digits bundles but all bundles should be added again can you see it? 1001 is nothing but 11 into 13 into 7 so the rule for the 7 and 13 and 11 could be the same or should be the same we can apply these rules for the 7 11 13 and for the triple nine triple one is a factor and triple one is nothing but three into 37 so we can apply the same rule making a bundle of three and plus 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 for the triple one 37 same i hope it is clear so if you have to check remainder by 33 check the rule for the 99 if you have to check remainder by 37 check the rule of triple nine triple nine is nothing but making a bundle of three and the alternate summation i hope it is clear or if you have 999995 times then it's one of the factor is 41 41 divides 5 times 9 so for the rule of 4 is same as the rule of 5 times 9 what is make a bundle of 5 digits from the right hand side and add the bundles and take the summation and get the answer i hope it is clear now solve our question question number one is we are looking for the remainder by 37 37 is a factor of triple one so the factor of triple nine the rule for the triple nine is nothing but make a bundle of three digit from the right hand side so we make bundle of 123 123 123 from the right hand side and we add all the bundles because triple nine is nothing but the addition of all the bundles and we need to find the remainder since it's three digit terms so we have 100 bundles so we need to find the remainder and addition since we have 300 digits so there should be 100 bundles 123 divided by 37 remainder is nothing but 12 so we can say there should be 100 12s if we calculate all the bundles because they are the 100 bundles so the summation of all is nothing but 12 into 100 since 12 into 100 is more than 37 so we again divide this by 37 and find the remainder that gives 12 and 100 divided by 37 remainder should be 26 and the multiplication of 12 and 26 is nothing but 312 and again 312 is more than 37 so we need to divide 312 by 37 and our final remainder is nothing but 16 and this is our answer same as 41 41 is a factor of 5 times 1 5 times 1 is a factor of 5 times 9 and the rule for the 5 times 9 is nothing but we make a bundle of 5 digits from the right hand side and add all the bundles and get the answer. The 5 digits are nothing but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and there are 60 bundles. Assume the terms is nothing but the digits. So there are the 60 digits. So this into 60 divided by 41 is our answer. Then first term 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 divided by 41 gives remainder 4 and 60 divided by 41 gives remainder 19. And 4 into 19 would give value of 76. 76 is more than 41. So 76 is again divided by 40 give remainder 35 as our final answer. So this terms divided by 41 remainder would be 35. I hope it is clear because 41 is a factor of 5 times 1 and which is factor of 5 times 9. And the rule for the 5 times 9 is make a bundle of 5 and all bundle is the summation. Now solve second question. 
here divisor is 39 which is 3 into 13 we cannot work on the 39 directly if we do not know the formula or the concept so we break it in the prime factorization that is 3 into 13 13 is the factor of 1001 so we need to make bundle of 3 and plus minus so here if we work for the 13 that is 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 from the right hand side if we make bundles we will get nothing but the 100 bundles because we have three digits in a one bundle and total is 300 digits and the 1001 is nothing but plus minus plus minus and so on since we have even bundles so all bundle would be nullified with the plus minus effect so with 13 our remainder is 0 and the rule for 3 is the sum of digits take the one bundle here the summation of one bundle is nothing but 6 so 6 is divided by 3 so the bundle is divided by 3 so all bundles should be divisible by 3 so the final remainder when this terms all number divided by 3 is nothing but 0 by 13 remainder is 0 by 3 remainder is 0 so we can say by 39 remainder is also 0 i hope it is clear so we can solve these question by identifying the factors 37 is a factor of triple 9 41 is a factor of 5 times 9 make a bundle of required numbers then either plus 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 if it is 10 and minus 1 types or plus minus plus minus from the right hand side if it is 10 and plus 1 types i hope it is clear to you even if you have any doubt feel free to ping me either on this video thread or on facebook thank you and happy learning